I am Vakhtar Mangal and I am a student of Human Medicine in Trakia University, Stazagora. And I will tell you how my daily life is in, in Bulgaria and as a student and how it is in beginning uh, of the first year. One normal day, so we start like Mondays, 11 o'clock we finish at 3 o'clock. So the latest we finish is 3 o'clock. And then we come home and sometimes we have lessons, uh, lectures and this thing, but mostly we finish at 3. Then I study for 4 hours. This is my main, that maximum 4 hours. Then I meet my friends from university. We go out, we're hanging out, like go to dinner, make food. This is first semester, so heavy physics, chemistry, biology, anatomy, cytology, and Bulgarian language, and Latin. Before the COVID situation, like now the, the new waves, before that, so we had all, uh, all uh, classes, we have exercises uh, on the personal. Sometimes so we had some lectures online, so most of the time we was uh, in the university. But after this situation happened with COVID, so now we are two weeks online, two weeks uh, in personal. Chemistry is hard, but if you know the, the subject before, so it's quite easy. Because I didn't study for a long time uh, my chemistry, so that's why Sarah is quite weak. But now it's, I'm hanging. So I know what I'm studying chemistry, so now I know. So in the beginning it, it's hard, like chemistry and physics is the hardest. So another uh, subject is quite easy and professors, helpfully, if you, if you really want to study, they are good with you. The subject that I'm, I'm more interested in is anatomy, Bulgari, uh, cytology and uh, biology. This is my main subject that I like, of course. The, after those is chemistry and uh, physics. In lecture, they're just explaining for you different subjects, like about uh, human, med about human, how their body is working, physics, how the different parts uh, doing in this. So this is the difference because in lecture, you don't have any homeworks, you don't have any, uh, like, uh, it's just for information. You're getting just information for the day after when you have another uh, class, exercise for the same subject. So they are explaining for you that. And in the exercises, it's most like you are there, you are, Professor is explaining for you everything, short, short thing. There is like questions they are asking you and we have homeworks for that. So this is the difference between lectures and uh, exercises. In my group is 11 people and they are from different countries from England, from Ireland, Sweden, Finland, Greece. So mostly in the groups in Trakia University in Stasagora, they have between 11 uh, from 7 to 12 people in the one group. So we have uh, 16 groups in uh, six groups in the first year. At the first month, because if you know how to study and uh, you have a, and you have experience from other people who have already studied in university, so then it's easy for you. But some people who, who is quite new and uh, like they don't know the life of the university, so for them it's quite hard because uh, they are studying a lot, they want to, to make themselves like they are ready for study. So for me it wasn't too hard, so it was like normal universities like before and now. Of course it's coming more exams, 
like per week you can have three exams or uh, colloquiums. Exams we have only in January and uh, June. So another we have just colloquiums. So we have like some weeks it can happen two colloquiums, some weeks it can happen three colloquiums depends on the, how much we, we need. So from beginning it's quite normal, but it will be harder harder, but as much you, you learn from the beginning, because the first subject, the first uh, uh, thing you study in the first days, so it's continue with the other subject, the other subject, so it will help you with that in the future. Clocking is uh, something that is not exams, so it's about just about one subject, like uh, light, like bones in anatomy. So this is, in clocking there is no pass and fail. There is just number you're getting. And this clock means you can't do, uh, like you, you can't retake it. So when you did it, so you did it. And this, some people are telling is, uh, mostly people, the uh, clock means counting in the main exams. We say if you didn't uh, make good good mark in the main exam, so they will see uh, your previous colloquiums, how you did there. So it can help you with that. So is clocking is counting between ten to uh, five to ten percent of your result in the main exams. So this is the different. The materials for the study is mostly time professor are telling you what to buy or which books is. Uh, because different universities, they study in different books. So all universities don't have the same books. So professor are going to tell you which book is good, that, you can, uh, that they are studying in, this, uh, in track university. So some of the books uh, you can buy from university, like chemistry, uh, uh, chemistry, uh, cytology, and uh, Bulgarian language books, this one you can buy there. And some of the professor can give you the books in uh, as a PDF. So it's quite easy to find the book, so it's not too hard. And we have some apps for anatomy that we are using. So there's always, if you ask professor what is good, they will teach you that, that what is good to study in which book or which part. For study, I'm using also uh, some of the online classes. It's uh, Khan Academy we are using, and uh, professors in track university, they are recommended to watch those videos also. So it's quite useful for, for your future, those videos. Most times I study by myself because uh, a lot of things is from computers you're doing. So that's why so I don't go too much to library because uh, so in this case I, I prefer to study at my home because I know good some of the students go to the library but for me I can study at my place. Bulgarian language is mostly uh, good, hard and easy because in Bulgarian language what you have, like what you write, you pronounce that and it's similar mostly for a Greek language, Russian language, so it's quite easy because, but the only thing is the difference between Bulgarian alphabet and uh, uh, English alphabets, so it's not the same. So this will be hard for you in the beginning, but of course professor was professional, so they, they know how to teach the, the students. So in this case, I don't think it's too hard to learn it. The daily life here is, you should, uh, you should enjoy here. You should go walk in the street, try to find things because it's a small city but beautiful city that you can find a lot of things it's not like a big city but small so it's easy for you to find places 
and it's quite beautiful city. It's better to enjoy your summer because when you are in university, then you are on, so then you don't have free time or these things too much. So it's better you enjoy your life when it's summer. Like before you start university, before you pass exams, all these things, when you go in. Of course, when it's uh, before you're starting second year, in summer you should start, prepare for the next year. But normally, like, I, pre I prefer to, to enjoy your life before you st start your student life. I hope this video is useful for you guys. Uh, good luck for the uh, application and see you next year.